by Rudd Chan from Walking Off The Wall Within, and this week's recipe video is a very simple pizza dough, which Angus and I are going to make. Uh, it's very, very simple, there's not much to it at all, so uh, Angus and I earlier mixed up one kilo of double O flour with one teaspoon of salt into the mixer here, and, uh, and just mix it up a little bit. And we also mixed 600 ml of water uh, in this jug here with uh, what, three and a half teaspoons of yeast and one tablespoon of sugar, mixed it all up and it's all activated the yeast there. And that's basically all you need to do. So as I said, we've already mixed up the flour and the, and the salt together. And now, uh, Gus, if you can give that a stir up for me, get rid of all those bubbles, nice big firm stir. Keep going, keep going. Nice. All right, so that'll just get rid of some of the bubbles. And then, very carefully, pour in there for me. That's it, just going, yep, that's it. Nice and gentle. Oh. Excellent. And that is that, that is as hard as it gets. So we've got a, we've got a uh, dough hook on the, uh, on the mixer here. So we'll just block Angus's face off here now. And Angus is just gonna turn it on to level one just to start it. And you just leave it to combine all up for a good 15 minutes until it forms a nice ball. And that is that. And we'll finish it off later on. Thanks. There you go, there it is all mixing up. Turn it up just a tad. Not too much, otherwise the flour will flick everywhere. Just like that. <laughs> so this has only been mixing for a couple minutes. Oh, I guess. And as you can see, it's all this stuff will come together. It's exactly what we want. Beautiful. Okay, so it's all mixed together and you know it's all done when all the flour in the bowl um, starts, you know, it, it comes off the sides of the bowl and sticks to the dough hook like that. And you can just, in one bit, pull it off the dough hook into the bowl. Getting a bit of a wintry blast here in Melbourne at the moment. All right, so, and that's what it looks like. Just like that, so we'll put that into the bowl like that and Gus, if you can just grab some flour and sprinkle just a little bit over the top of it. So what happens there when you just sprinkle it over the top of the top of the, um, the dough ball in there and give it a mix around, when it does rise, it doesn't stick to the foil which I'll put over the top of it, so yeah. And then... Yay! Pour it over the top like so. Pinch it all down to keep all the heat in. And the dough is quite warm because of the yeast and the warm water that we use. And then you just set it aside. That'll rock up over the next few hours. You then um, you then uh, knock it back down if you need to. Um, put it over, put the foil over, and a bit more flour over it again, and just leave it. And if you want it to stop rising, you can just put it in the fridge or something like that, and that'll stop the. Uh, That'll stop the process, and that's it. And this makes about what you reckon, ten pretty good pizzas, pretty good sized pieces. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, so we put our toppings on, and eight minutes in the oven, and done. Beautiful. Thanks, guys. That's it. Big thank you, Angus, for his help.